Things have been absolutely hectic the past couple of days, so I apologize for late and no videos the past couple of days, you guys. We've just been playing catch up on stuff. Uh, we've been knocking out customer cars, which is what we're going to be doing today. Uh, decided to film this one. Did not film the last one. We're going to be filming this one. This one's uh, 2018 to 2021. I don't remember what year. STI motor literally ate itself. Just completely ate itself. Dude needed new long block, new turbo, new everything. We're going to be getting this car running and driving today, hopefully. Now, on top of that, uh, I have some updates if you haven't seen the live stream. Uh, I did sell the Evo yesterday, which was another busy day, I guess I could say. I didn't want to sell the Evo, but deep down it was the best decision to do to get the SDI back up where I want it. Without cutting corners and, what, and without having to wait for things. Uh, on top of that, we're picking up a new car this week. I will miss the Evo. I plan on getting another Evo in the future. A uh, subscriber actually bought the Evo. He drove out from Idaho, picked up the car, drove it back. Uh, and he's going to be giving it the life it deserves now. We, I don't want to say we abandoned the Evo because technically we bought it as a shell. We brought it back to life. That thing was a hot mess when we got it. And now it actually runs, it drives, it does the stuff, and it does the thing. So, with the Evo being gone, like I said, there's going to be a new car coming to the channel this week. Um, I'm going to look at a couple options in the next couple of days. And I don't know which one I'm going to decide on quite yet. But we're going to be deciding on one of them. Also got more stuff in for the WRX, which I'm excited about. Huge shout out to Chris for giving us an absolute deal on a set of OEM STI Brembos that are already sandblasted, which is nice. So we can just powder coat these whatever color we want. He also gave us like new seal kits, all the hardware, all the liter literal everything for these Brembos. Uh, I also got in one more of the hubs yesterday one more of the axles i've got two more axles showing up one more hub showing up uh, and then we have everything for our six speed swap for the wrx i also ordered all of the raw material for the wrx to be able to build our rotated kit so i ordered all the raw material to go ahead and fabricate our rotated kit if you have a welder and you have the experience and you know how to weld and fabricate which i'm still learning significantly cheaper to build your own rotated kit i think in raw material cost alone it cost me 400 dollars for everything to build the rotated kit for the wrx so i'm excited for that i want to get this thing out of here because we have another car showing up from california that's getting dropped off today and another car showing up in the next couple of days so we need to get these this one at least out of here so let's go ahead let's get this thing up on quick jacks and then i'll show you the engine for this thing because it's like quite fresh and quite new Car is pushed out, engine is here. There's a couple small things I have to do on this before we go ahead and put this thing in the car. Uh, I do this every single time I get new cylinder heads on a car. There's a small plate that goes on the backside of the AVCS guy down here that I always forget to put on. So I can pop off this cover here, I can move the fuel rail out of the way and I can get those covers on right there. We're also putting an IEG AOS on this car. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the block breather fitted down there. I need to get the bypass valve hose down on there. I can go ahead, pop off the throttle body here, get the fitting put down there for the uh, AOS as well, just to knock out a couple small other things make life a little bit easier we're putting a new flywheel on this car with an act hdss so let me knock out the small stuff on this thing so that way we can just get this thing dropped down in there this is the way i've been building engines now i find this to be a lot easier when it comes to just getting these back together it kind of sucks putting them in the car with the intake manifold and everything on there uh, but it's very doable it's very doable it's not the end of the world so let's go ahead and knock out all the little stuff on this guy here and get it back in its home right there This engine is now ready to accept its new OEM flywheel and ACT HDSS. We also have a brand new throwout bearing because we don't like the ACT ones, so, uh, so we use OEM over here. Now with STIs, remember there is something you have to do before slapping the engine in. You have to get the transmission set up and that means getting the throwout bearing on there, getting the slide pin for the fork in there and getting the plug on the backside of the transmission, uh, which is like right behind the starter, right down there. If you just follow that cylinder, it's right on the other side. I remind you guys in all of these whenever we go to do them because it's really gonna suck if you try to put this if you put the engine in and you don't do that because uh you're not gonna have a good time so i'm gonna get the flywheel lock tighted put it on here go ahead get it torqued down as well as the pressure plate get all that put on there and then we'll jump to getting the transmission set up and then hopefully this guy should just accept its engine fingers crossed the last one fought us for like two hours so hopefully this one doesn't
So this is what I was talking about the transmission. You want to make sure you get the throw out bearing set on there with the clutch fork and then the slide pin in there. After that's done, make sure you've got your pressure plate flywheel torqued down and loctited down. Now, the way we're going to do this, we're going off of these inch and jack points because I know a lot of people always ask. Uh, there's a 12 on the back of the bell housing here and right there. On the front, we use the 12 for the power steering pump and then the 14 for the AC. And then that should give enough. I'll link this guy down below because this thing's a game changer for putting these engines in. So we should be able to just in theory pick it up put it in there. We also have the transmission jacked up. And uh, the other big thing, which was kind of stopping us last time is ensure that your clutch disc in there is centered. It doesn't look centered on camera, but it is centered, I promise. So get this guy slid in there. So we got the engine put back in this one. I don't know why my light's freaking out. Engine is back in here. Everything's bolted in, clutch work. That one went in, no problem. We also got another VA that just got dropped off. This one was shipped up from California. So it's kind of cool that we're getting cars shipped up to us to be built and whatnot. So this one has, uh, I believe it's spun, spun bearing on this one. It's a little interesting. The AOS is cocked sideways. The intercooler is also a little sideways. So we're gonna be fixing this one up to make it look Hitting a the lot. Radiator. The air pump's hitting the radiator. Yeah, with this, you just need to take off this front cover and it'll fit no problem. We have, we, the new motor hasn't even shipped. This one's just getting a Type RA block in it. Uh, resurface the heads. I don't foresee too much damage being in this one. It is a 18 to 21, so, or no, 15 to 17 fog light covers. Boop. We'll get it pushed up here. I'm not too stressed about getting this one started in the next couple of days. Once the new engine ships out, we'll get that one pulled out. Uh, normally with just a resurface on heads, I can get the heads back in about a day or so. So fun, that's cool. That's really cool. So now that we've got the engine into this white VA behind us, we can go ahead and start getting a lot of the accessories and whatnot on. The exhaust, the downpipes are bolting everything up. We need to go to the store, grab some spark plugs. Um, I just want to take a second. I think it's like this VA that I'm looking at, the one that just got dropped off out there. I think it's just really cool that people are like, we're at the point now where people like ship their cars to us for us to do like engine replacements for them and whatnot, build motors, like build cars for them. Cause like everything started off with just like random installs on the channel with me learning and growing and whatnot. And now like Matt and I are putting cars together for people. So like it significantly helps fund the channel and the things that we do. So it's just really cool that you guys are like trusting us and whatnot to put your guys' cars together. Yeah, you know, I'm going off on a tangent, so. It is pretty cool that you guys actually you know, one, trust us, and two, look up to the idea of us working on your cars and being able to do that. Also, if you guys want to ship us some chicken wings, we probably won't eat them. Don't actually, don't do that. That's gonna, don't, they're gonna go bad. <laughs> don't ship us chicken wings. So, uh, let's go ahead and get this white VA wrapped, well, not wrapped up, but, well, it's gonna get wrapped up today. I hope to have it running and driving today. So, let's go ahead, start reassembling this guy. And I got all of the under the car stuff done, which is like radiator hoses, uh, down pipe, engine mounts, transmission mounts, that kind of stuff. Matt went inside for food. I told him he was weak. We don't eat food. We just keep going, daddy-o. So uh, at this point, we're printing, we're almost like done with this thing, to be honest. I just have to finish routing the AOS lines, uh, grab spark plugs, and we can get the plugs in, the coil packs in, the intake in. I don't think it's not gonna sound like super loud. It's pretty much all stock with like an AOS, an ACTH DSS. We have a fully assembled Subaru and we have a disco show. That light has been literally nothing but annoying. So I've got crank position disconnected. I've got the fuel pump fuse pulled out. 
We're gonna go ahead and build a little bit of oil pressure. It's a brand new long block, brand new turbo. So we're gonna build oil pressure real quick till the oil pressure light on the dash comes off. Uh, and then we're gonna start this thing. Fingers crossed that it starts first dry, which it should. There's no reason it shouldn't start first dry. Sorry for the disco show. I need to buy a new light. That one's legit. It's plugged in and charging and it's not working. Oh no. Matt. Yeah. When you hooked up the starter, did you hook up the signal wire to it? That would be the issue. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, that would be uh, that would be our problem right there. Make sure your starter wire is plugged in. The strobe light's so annoying. Well, that's also not plugged in right now, but hell yeah, daddy-o! We're gonna let the cooling system burp. I'm gonna monitor things in here. I don't have his access port, so I kind of just have to go off what I see on the cluster right there. Actually, I didn't know I had an exhaust on it. It don't sound bad at all. I think it's just a muffler delete. Not bad. Oh, uh, we have a TPMS light. TPMS light, Matt! TPMS light! Dope, all right, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna check things, make sure we ain't got no leaks or anything like that. Uh, give me like one, one sec. Now we burp it! Burp it! Drink to them air bubbles out! Get the, ah! I don't know about you guys, but like every single RA block that we've been putting in these cars, they all have a knocky sound to them at first. Like the first like couple starts to them, and the first couple heat cycles, they all have like a weird knocky sound. It goes away after a, for, like a couple heat cycles, but it's so weird, it's an OEM, this build is all OEM spec. OEM cams, valve train, everything's OEM. RA block, the only thing that's modified on this car is a turbo inlet, an intake, and an air oil separator. And they just have like this weird knocky sound to them, it's so weird. Like Subarus are kind of loud engines, but this sounds a little knocky sometimes. But we're finishing up burping the cooling system and we'll go whip this thing around, go like 120 on the freeway with it. All right, everything's good so far. We're gonna go test drive it, take it to the car wash, get it all cleaned up for him. I think he's picking it up tonight. He might pick it up tomorrow, I'm not sure. But either way, I wanna have the car ready for him. Those morning stretches. <laughs> I mean, those night stretches. <laughs> morning stretch is it. Seven o'clock. Yeah, it does. Quite nice. I want another VA. I think I'm gonna buy another VA. Anyone selling a blown up VA, I'll buy it off you. Let me know. That's serious too. If you have a blown up VA and you wanna sell it, let me know, I'll probably buy it off you. If you have two blown up VAs, Matt will buy one off you also. <laughs> sell us your blown up VAs. He has a Subaru shirt, he's serious about it. Oh yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go drive it. Ha, I get a new car. This is my new car now. We built it. It's ours. Oh my God, I can't see shit. <laughs> Why did you do that? It's raining. Oh my God. Are we taking this? To the car wash. Okay. <laughs> Probably Man, I have to adjust this seat, I'm short. I know, that's If funny. I could fall into the sky, do you think time? time. Would pass me by, by. And you, you know, know I go I'd walk for that miles. Miles. I could just say <laughs> you Tomorrow Tonight, tonight. tonight. Not tomorrow <laughs> Where'd you get tomorrow from? <laughs> Remove card quickly Machine does not have Chip reader Thank you Welcome to Elephant Touch Oh fuck dude Talks oh, to us Selection and enter your method of payment Please select your wash method. Well, I have to, do I select my wash method first? Yes. I'll do the uh, the works. I like this guy. Works wash, two free soap, underbody, tri-color, spot free, and power dry. Please deposit the amount shown. I did, I swiped the card. Swipe again. Processing. Processing. Thank you for your purchase. 
Hey. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What the fuck is this? I paid for trifle. No, it hasn't kicked on yet. This, this is, is. Oh, we're still in the pre-soak. The second pre-soak. Yeah. Oh. Does you have power on that side? No. Peasant. Look at this. I don't care. Look at how slow you have to lean back. Fuck off. Fuck off, mate. It's like in the GTI when you're trying to lean forward. <laughs> it's like. Super slow. And it just comes up hella slow. Okay. Triple bomb! Triple bomb! Nope. Yes! Wow! Yes! Oh my god, dude, I love triple oh. oh! Wait, you turn on the inside thing? So ah! Close the. Ah! I don't know how! Yeah, you know how it's on! Work. You know how to work this? I haven't used one of these! Mine doesn't have this all display! The all, the all, the all the way up! up. All the way up! All the way up! There. It's all the way up! It's all the way up! It's all the way up! Oh! oh do you smell god. it? I bet you this is what cocaine smells like. I don't think so. No. I think cocaine probably smells like nosebleeds. Get out of here! Get out of here! Look at that! It's running minty! Beautiful! It is the next morning, you guys. It is cold as hell, also. But uh, owner of his car came, picked it up last night. He was ecstatic to have it back. That's one thing that I like about doing uh, these engine rebuilds, builds for people, is the sheer excitement they get when they pick them up. Now, building building other people's cars is not a permanent thing for me. It's not something I want to do long term. It's something I do every now and then to generate more funds for the channel, for us to be able to do more stuff. So, um, engine builds for other people, they'll come and go. You, if you guys have been around for a while, you'll remember I used to do side work for other people um, out of other shops also. Now we've just kind of moved to doing it here. So it's not, it's not a permanent thing going forward. Um, it's kind of just an intermittent thing every now and then that I do. But now that we're caught up on customer builds, aside from this VA that got dropped off and then an 05 that gets dropped off this week, uh, we're gonna be starting back up on the WRX and the STI and the new car that we're picking up this week, which I'm very, exci very excited for. It's a car that people have been asking for for about a year and a half now, from what I can remember, asking if I'll do content on this car, asking if I'll get one, asking if I'll build one. So I found one. Hopefully, I'm just waiting on the, the funds to clear from selling the Evo to hit my account so that way I can go pick up this car, but I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm, just, I'm so excited. You guys were pumped when we got the WRX, the hatchback right there. You guys can be pumped about this one also. So um, one more thing is last night I was in the office. I was doing some office work. It was like 1.30. No, I think it was midnight. And uh, we hit 100,000 subscribers. It's, it blows my mind. It's absolutely insane. Because I remember when I started this channel, it was to show people installs and to specifically do install videos and topic videos. To help people learn, to help people work on their own cars and just to go from there. And now it's kind of evolved to the point where we do, we obviously cover all of my builds, we cover other people's builds, we still do discussion videos. I've just done so many of them at this point, I don't know what other discussion videos would need to be done. Um, we can still do dedicated install videos, but I feel like I've covered the, the facet of the vast majority of them and whatnot. So it's just insane to me seeing that sitting at home randomly one day, I was like, I could start making videos to help other people and now we're at a hundred thousand is just absolutely mind-blowing to me it boggles my mind it, it's crazy it's just it's just crazy seriously thank you guys without you guys and the support from you guys uh, we wouldn't be standing here building other people's cars building our cars building all this fun stuff making all these videos and whatnot so I, I genuinely appreciate it um, if you guys do want to show your sport you guys do want to jump in some more uh, last night at midnight the 100k limited t-shirts went live on the site there's only a hundred of them being made so if you want one jump on them if you don't want one don't jump on them kind of thing you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying i'll link the website down below for you guys if you guys do want to jump in on that uh don't forget there's also the giveaway that we're doing with rally sport direct every 25 dollars you guys spend on the site gets you one entry into the giveaway which will get you an opportunity to win a 2500 dollar gift card over to rally sport direct that way you can go buy whatever parts you want for your own car versus me just kind of giving you hey you only get this option and then once again i do apologize for the lack of videos the past couple days we've just been catching up on stuff but that's all i got for you guys on this one so if you guys are excited that we hit 100k and we're just gonna keep fucking going and doing all the stuff and the things go ahead and hit that like button turn it black blue green yellow purple silver sign whatever color it turns for you and let me know what you think we're picking up this week for the new car because i'm kind of curious to see what you guys think i have a feeling the vast majority of you guys already know what it is but i don't want to come out and just say it because where's the fun in that so with that i will catch you guys in the next one so peace out homies